Hello there guys. My name is Kin Kin. Daughter of Dover Kin. And, for now, I'll be your host. Though I'm not allowed to play this game because my father says that it's not for kids. He's okay with the idea of me hosting some of his videos, which I'd be glad to do. So here I am. And I'll be talking all about cloaks. But before we begin, be sure to hit on the subscribe button for more great videos. By the way, the menu system of this game requires you to be a savant of navigation, ha ha ha. To access the cloak menu, tap on main menu, items, then cloak. Alright. First, acquisition. To wear any cloak, you must be, at least, level 75. As for personal cloaks, unlocking them requires their corresponding brooches. The Adventurer's Cloak Brooch, aka XP Cloak, is given after the cloak tutorial. So don't skip it. The Elite Dungeon, or Blood Ranger's Cloak, and the Garden Cloak Brooches, are available in the Equipment Bundle section of the shop. For 2,490 Philippine Pesos, or nearly $50 each. The PBE, Cloak of Red Destruction Brooch, is a random reward in the Vampire Rift, or Countess of Blood's Boudoir. By the way, a boudoir is a woman's bedroom, or a private sitting or dressing room. And, the PVP, Cloak of Virtuous Blood Brooch, is a random reward in the Orc Rift, or Altar of Madness. On the other hand, regarding the clan, Cloak of Determination, besides reaching level 75, of course, you need to be in a clan to have this cloak. By the way, regarding the PvE and PvP cloak brooches, my dad based this list on how they were written in the September 29th update notice details thread in the official forums. But according to him, this could be a typo. Next, leveling up for the first three cloaks. XP, Elite, and Garden. You need Cloak Yarn to level them up. A reward in all, Rifts. As for the PvE Cloak, you'll need Madness Shards, which are acquired upon finishing the Orc Rift. On the PvP Cloak, you'll need Trish's Tears, which are rewarded by the Vampire Rift. And for the Clan Cloak, you need Red Threads of Fate, which are obtained via finishing the hard modes of clan dungeons. Okay, substat change. All materials needed for this feature come from random rewards. But again, according to the same thread in the forums, Magic Fabric of Virtuous Blood, A listed. Is this another typo candidate? Anyway, like another gear, using this feature will randomize all listed substats. Here, however, you are given a degree of control. Because you can use magic needles to prevent a substat from randomizing. How cool is that? As per material, likewise with leveling up, you only need one type for the first three cloaks. Magic Fabric. On the PvE cloak, it's Magic Fabric of Destruction. By the way, clicking on the Preview Substat Change button, will list down the stats that may appear on your cloak when you do a reroll. My father thinks that better cloaks have better lists, and that the number of substats on each cloak is constant. Anyhow, by far, there is no way to change clan cloak substats, perhaps when it level ups. But he hasn't seen that, yet. While we're on the subject of substats, you can check out his video. Stats 2. Gear Sub Stats. The first chart, wherein stats are grouped based on importance. We hope, that one will be helpful. And finally, Clan Cloak. This one is obviously a different breed. So it deserves some extra detailing. You don't need to equip it to benefit from its sub stats. They're like passives. Furthermore, if you like taking selfies, like me, 
with your clan mates, or you want to promote your clan as per recruitment is concerned. This is your for show cloak. Initially, if you equip it, you'll look like someone who lost his marbles for deciding to wear a baby's bib like a cape. Ha ha ha. But as it levels up, at levels 10, 20, and 30, it'll look more and more like a proper superhero cape. Nice. By the way, only the clan leader can level it up. He can also change its overall and emblem colors via purchasing specific dyes in the clan's conquer shop, which is only accessible upon conquering a fortress. Okay, on a side note. The cloaks right now are kinda buggy because they unequip themselves. However, as long as the cloak's buff icon is present on the status panel, its effects are active. Phew! This guy took like forever. My trial by fire indeed. But I know my dad approves. And I hope you do as well. Thanks for watching. Also, check out other videos from Sabat Clan Philippines and subscribe. May your cloaks make you fashionable always. See ya!